Hello there. This is the family doctor. Sam Windsor. <laughs> well, how's the actor? Never huh? felt better, Doc. <laughs> Never felt better in my life. By God, this takes me back to my undergraduate days in law school. Is that so? Yes. Many's the time I've trod the boards, delivering the immortal lines of the Bard of Avon. Mm. Merrily, merrily shall I live now under the blossom that hangs on the bough. That's from The Tempest. <laughs> I played the good fairy, Ariel. You did, eh? <laughs> For aught that I could ever read, could ever hear by tale or history, the course of true love never did run smooth. That's from Midsummer Night's Dream. I played Puck. You played what? Puck. You know, Doc, the, the sprightly little fellow who darts in and out between the rose bushes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, of course, I I was slightly more underweight then than I am at present. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> ah, but this pageant's a fine thing for Cedarton, Doc. Just think, the first annual Cedarton Festival and historical pageant. Great thing. It was a marvelous inspiration. Well, I can truthfully say, Judge Windsor, that I've never before seen you so enthusiastic about anything. Oh, I am, Doc. I am enthusiastic. Well... I must haste along now and run over my speech before the performance. As Shakespeare says, I am slow of study. <laughs> well, so long, Doc. I'll see you backstage. Huck, darting in and out between the rose bushes. <laughs> oh, what fools these mortals be. <laughs> Now, folks, uh, the pageant's about to start. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, Dr. Adams, uh, the, the Glee Clubs are just finishing their final song now. You go right on and introduce the pageant. Uh, yes, yes, Mrs. O'Malley, I understand. Uh, is everybody ready? Yeah. 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 There, Doctor. Please, is everybody. Uh, oh, I'll handle the light. Uh, Frank, get up on the promontory. All right. Uh, Maybelle, take your place on the throne. Well, all right, right uh, away. Uh, all right. Uh, go ahead, Doctor. What are you waiting for? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, are you ready, Chief Benson? How's the horse? Uh, oh, all right, now. Quiet, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the pleasure of presenting to you the historical pageant as the final climax to our first annual Cedarton Festival. This pageant, entitled Onward, Upward, Cedarton, Excelsior, was written by our talented citizen, Mr. Frank O'Malley, and was directed by his talented wife, Mrs. Theodosia O'Malley. The characters in the order of their appearance are as follows. Judge Samuel Windsor as prologue. Miss Mabel... Maybell. Uh, oh, yes, as Miss Maybell Graham as the Queen of Cedarton. Mr. Charles Chick Harper, through the courtesy of May's Drug Company, as the Spirit of Courage. 
Chief of Police William Quincy Bill Benson as the spirit of progress. Mr. Frank O'Malley as the spirit of life and the members of the combined boys and girls glee clubs of the Cedarton Union High School. Onward, upward, Cedarton, Excelsior! All right, everybody ready? Light, take up the curtain. I am Prologue. To thee, O oh good Queen Maybell, and honorable citizens of the fair city of Cedarton, <coughs> I bring the characters in this play. List to them well. May their lessons bring into your hearts a fond recollection of the past and greater yearning for progress and light and courage in the future. So, Prologue bids thee, good players, on with the show! All right, Chick, and don't forget to fall in front of the throne. All right. Here I go. Oh, wait. Your shield. Where's your shield? Gee, I don't know. Hey, I feel so funny in this skirt. I told you it wasn't a skirt. It's a Spartan costume. Here's the shield, Hill. Oh, thank you, Frank. Now, right. Chick, run! Uh, hey! Oh, oh my <laughs> What happened? You pushed him onto the stage flat on his face. Frank O'Malley, how can you laugh? It's all right now. He's picked himself up. And who art thou, brave soldier? Oh, fair Queen Maybell, I am the spirit of courage. And what wilt thou here at this court? I bring memories of the past and inspiration for the future. I bring unto thee the noble procession of those staunch souls who build it on this virgin soil, the foundations of the civilization which was to become Cedarton. Let us sound the trumpets to call them back for a moment from the limbo of the forgotten past. Trumpets. Where where are the trumpets, Professor Gundel? The trumpets. Benson, can't you keep that horse quiet? <laughs> that, my good woman, is something over which I ain't got any control. What's the matter with Chick? Why doesn't he go on? He's gone up in his lines, Theo. He's looking over here. Well, do so. Prompt him, then. Prompt him. How can I? You've got the script. I've got... Oh, yes. Let me see. The trumpet. Here it is. And, and as they march... And, and as they march... Uh, we shall see... Uh, we... We shall see... What's the matter with that boy? Their noble features. Their their noble features. <laughs> Good gracious! He's making an exit, and he's not half through. Well, we can't stop now. Who's next, Frank? The spirit of progress. Oh yes, uh, Chief Benson, are you ready? Yes, but uh, it's kind of funny. I got a sort of a tight feeling in my throat. It's only a little stage fright. Now go on. <laughs> but it feels like I'm going to cough. You won't cough. Uh. Now go on. Ride that horse on the stage. Yes. Goodness, where did they ever get such a beast? It looks as though it hadn't been fed for 20 yeah. years. Uh, go on, Mr. Yeah, Pinson. Right, I'm, I'm on. Here I go. And now, noble knight, who art thou? Behold, behold, good people of Cedarton and beauteous Queen Mabel, I come bringing you tidings. <laughs> Joy. Goodness, he is going to call. <laughs> he has, my dear, he has. I am the spirit of progress, and I give give you the admonition to carry on towards your goal of achievement. What in the world has happened to that man? Stage fright, I think you call it. As our forefathers have done before us, and as we expect our... Expect our... Hey! Well, Theo, there goes the spirit of progress out the back door. Frank O'Malley, it's up to you to save this performance. I'll do my best, my dear, but I'm afraid... Never mind. Get up on that promontory. All right, Frank. Jump! Oh, he's jumped into the throne. Is there anything I can do, Mrs. O'Malley? Yes. You can go on on that stage and see whether or not I'm a widow. Oh, well, wait, wait a minute. He's getting up. And now, fair stranger, who art thou? Oh, Queen Maybell, dost thou not recognize me? Nay, I cannot say that I do. Who art thou? Behold, 
I am the spirit of light. Ah, welcome, spirit of light. Thou canst not know how welcome thou art to this court. That's more truth than poetry. And what wilt thou hear? Behold, I come bringing you the light of those who have gone on before me. Those brave and noble spirits who have thus far guided our fair city toward its goal. Let all eyes be guarded now as I fling wide the portals of Cedarton and behold a blaze of light and glory. Good gracious, what's happened to the light? <laughs> light! <laughs> what's, the what's the trouble, Mrs. O'Malley? The lights have gone out. I can see that. I'm not blind, Doctor. Go on the stage. Get the attention of the audience. Tell them to join the glee clubs in singing the new Cedarton anthem. What do you mean, get their attention? How can I get their attention with no lights? I'll have Professor Gundel give us another blare of trumpets. Well, all right. I'll do my best. Professor Gundel, another blare of trumpets. Professor! Ladies and gentlemen, we're all awfully sorry that something has happened to the lights. Fire them on, Doc! <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. Now, at the request of the director of our pageant, Mrs. Theodosia O'Malley, I am going to ask you to join the combined glee clubs of the heaven. Oh, 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 it's in the powerhouse. All the lights in town are out, and all of us members of the volunteer fire department got to get busy. Come on, man, to the powerhouse. Hey, 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 well, Frank, there goes the first annual Cedarton Festival and Historical Pageant into the limbo of the forgotten past. Well, never mind, Theo. You did your best. Well... I guess there's nothing for us to do now but go back to Hollywood. Oh, I don't think so, Mrs. O'Malley. Oh, hello, Dr. Adams. I, I didn't know you were still here. I wouldn't look at the pageant that way. You know, I'm not quite as good at quoting as Sam Windsor, but I remember something that Bobby Burns wrote once. What's that? The best laid plans of mice and men aft gang a gee. <laughs> yes, you're right, Doctor. Frank and I won't go back to Hollywood. We'll stick. We'll stay in Cedarton, won't we, Frank? You bet we will. <laughs> well, come on. Let's go down and watch the fire. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> 